Hello my friends and welcome back to the Deep Tarot. This is our energy check-in for the coming week. Before I start, I want to thank you all for all these sweet, kind, honest feelings that I got from you guys, from your comments, from all the energy that I felt. Thank you so much for everything, for feeling my situation and I felt the honesty from every word I saw in the comments. And accept my apologies i didn't respond yet individually i'm planning to do that soon thank you so much for everything as you know this reading will be an energy check in for all zodiac signs i will start with cancer today and end up with capricorn water air fire then earth the last one will be maybe for you reading with that orchid card as a freestyle reading for for whoever needs it I will try this week to do the readings for the Venus sign, the love reading for the Venus sign for all the zodiac signs. I will do my best to upload these maybe in the coming weekend. Let's let's see what will happen. I will do my best to do that. Anyways, these readings are coming soon, I believe. So if you are interested, wait for me. Enough talking and let's start. I will start with Cancer. Three cards from the Tarot and one from the Romance Angel. This is you, Cancer, and I have three cards here. There is a soulmate energy in this reading, Cancer. You are sitting here with uh, all the power that you have feeling what you are feeling but covering everything with that face of strength controlling all the situation everything is in order in your life finance and career financial issues are a fact in your love life right now controlling everything around you accept your feelings Accept the pain that you cannot control. I always feel the pain from this chariot eyes every time I see this card. I don't know if you can see it. There is sadness coming from this individual eyes. This is the energy that always. I feel from this card. Somebody who is in charge, controlling everything, but everyone around them feel them as if they are powerful, strong, and they have everything. Why they will not be happy? Everyone think that you are happy or you don't really believe in feelings exactly like cancer that shell from outside covering a very soft core of yours the other energy that you are dealing with is holding the sword towards you truth only the truth and nothing but the truth this individual is not wanting they are and this is what i feel here they are ready to compromise but they don't want to they can but they don't want they don't want to compromise they want everything they want this situation to work the way they want it to exactly according to their plan they are not ready to compromise and i believe here for some of you there is a financial situation in between you and this individual. Maybe financial financial issues are not the main factor here, but they are a factor. There is something that has to do with money stopping this from happening. As I told you, it's not only the money, but the money is part of this. I don't know from your side, from their side, but with this six of cups here, there is a very strong 
energy of a soulmate. Deep inside you, you are holding a very pure, childish, honest, loving energy to each other. And in reality, there is a type of war in here. What you are feeling inside is the opposite of what you are showing outside. And I believe both sides, not only from your side, from this individual side as well. They are holding the sword, wanting everything their way or my, my way or the highway. But from inside, it's a different story. Unfortunately, for the time being, as I see this story, Cancer, I don't know if there is a way out of this. You know better than me. It's a kind of a situation where you cannot leave and you cannot start. You are in front of the door. You cannot leave and you cannot enter. This is... A type of this is the type of energy that I'm feeling good luck for your answer cancer this is the energy of a week let's hope for that for the time being this is the situation Scorpio Five of Wands, the High Priestess, the Nine of Wands. Make the effort. Great love is worth take the steps you are guided to take. I believe this five of one, five, uh, five of ones is the energy that you are dealing with. You are this, the nine of ones here. Wounded, tired, you don't have any more energy to fight. This warrior here is barely standing and they are one step of like falling down giving up they are fighting trying to survive but they are tired this individual that you are dealing with they are in a kind of the feeling that came to me like as if they are on a different planet they are they don't know what's going on inside you or inside your life this individual think that you want them to fight for you and this is what they are doing. I feel an energy of somebody immature regardless of age. This high priestess here is you, my dear. You know the whole story. You are attracted to this individual. But you are thinking about or almost convinced that this is not the right person for you. They are not your level. They are not mature enough. This card is telling you, make the effort. Great love is worth take the steps you're guided to take. And I want you to stop here and focus on this guide it to take with this high priestess you know yourself that you are intuitive and you know the truth you have the, the feeling inside you about what is the situation and what is the right way to deal with it so believe your god sometimes Life, it's not only about long terms and situations that will never end. 
free in your heart. If you feel that you want to flirt with this individual for a while or try something with them to, to come out of this energy, definitely without playing with their feelings, make the effort. You never know what tomorrow will hold for you. Maybe what you think that is immature and wrong will end up something amazing. You cannot answer without trying. Trying in life is not about picking the best potential. Trying is about gaining experience from life. You think you know sometimes people and life will surprise you. Don't judge the situation, even if you are the high priestess and you can feel what's going on. Don't judge the situation. Try it. And after a while, when you deal with this individual, if you are not really matching in energy, you will feel it and they will feel it. At that time, you will leave each other's without the pain because you tried and you know that this is not right. Right now, what you have is the guess from your side and from their side. And maybe later on, when you go on your life, Will, you will remember this and you will regret not trying. This individual, what I feel from here, that this individual is trying everything they can to come closer. I feel for some of you there is an age difference. Yes, there is. Pick your side, by the way. I don't know which one is you. This is my feeling. There is an age difference, I think, for some of you. Or maybe it's not about the years. It's about being mature or not. This individual is not that mature. You are way mature than them. But sometimes that full energy will surprise you. Good luck, Scorpio. Good luck. As I told you, your advice here to give this situation a chance. Maybe you will learn something from it. Maybe the other individual will learn something from you. Maybe this maturity will pass something important this individual need to learn. And you are stopping their progress in life. Think about it that way. Pisces. Knight of Cups. The Emperor. Ten of Swords. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bless of a holiday time together. I don't know this Knight of Cups, you or the other energy. But somebody here is trying to leave a situation, going to the, trying to find love somewhere else or trying a relationship or maybe a friendship, someone else, because they are, they're thinking that the other energy is not ready or not interested. Because you are feeling them or they are feeling you in this Ten of Swords energy. Maybe they are. Maybe this Knight of Cups will help this Ten of Swords to start new. Who, who knows? 
if you are the Ten of Swords, give this individual a, t a chance because maybe they are your way out of this pain. Maybe the universe sent them to you to take you out of this energy. Excuse me. Try. Stop this emperor face. I believe you are not for the Pisces that I am connected with here. You are not even giving a chance to this individual. Or for some of you, you don't know who is this. There is a kind of a secret admirer around you. And you are not paying attention to them because you are so busy grieving your pain. Maybe it's time to stand up and look around. Because happiness is waiting for you. This individual is waiting to extend that cup for you. But they started to feel that maybe you are not interested or you didn't even recognize them or see them. So maybe if they will turn around and go back from where they came, that would be better because they have no chance in here with this emperor. You want to start something new. You want, but you are not giving chance. It's not wrong to accept help from others. Because in a way, we will help them. Maybe if you will accept the help from this individual, you will help him or her in a, some other way. Maybe there is a lesson from you they, they need to learn. Don't jump to conclusions from the beginning. Give everything in life a chance. And be wise with that. And I believe you are wise with this emperor here. Don't cut people around you from the beginning. And don't, don't give them that very long, long, long time of chances. Find that right timing. Learn to pick the right time to enter and the right time to leave. This is the main lesson in your life. It's time to leave. Drop your swords and stand up. Because maybe you are showing the face of the emperor, but you are hiding this. It's an experience. I believe love and relationships, they are like jobs. They are like friendships. When you move to a new place, in the beginning, you start to talk with everyone around you, say hi, do these short like conversations, by the way, between brackets that annoying me about weather or like everybody will ask you about the weather. This is the only conversation that they have. No, try to talk to people about a real subject. Something real in life. Stop asking everybody and accepting everybody that conversation about weather. I want to know you as a human. I know the weather. I can check it on my phone. Because... This type of conversation is a limit. Like you, you tell them few words, they tell you few words and that's it. And you keep reliving the same situation every day, asking the same questions, getting the same answers. This is not a relationship. Try to talk to people. When you move to a place, I know I went somewhere else, my bad, I'm sorry. But when you move to a new place, you start to talk with people. And by time, you will know who is a real friend 
and who is just a neighbor or someone in your like a colleague or a like someone you know you will pick your friends by knowing everybody and seeing what vibes you will attract from others and what they will attract from you you cannot be a very close friend with everyone around you time will tell you who is your close friends in these people around in your new job in your new neighborhood if you move to another city love is the same i don't know why we don't accept this we have to put rules in love not to start to interfere with any relationship unless we are 100% sure that there is a 90% chance that there is a future for this This is not a job interview. This is a love relationship, a romantic relationship. We give chances to people to find the right one for us. Because if the right one is around me and I will never talk to them, how do I know that it, this is my partner? There is no magic in here. You talk, you get to know people, then by time, you will feel the energy of the one for you. Try, my dear. It seems there is a potential in here. Enjoy the bliss of a holiday time together. Life is too short, my dear. Life is too short. Maybe I'm looking for someone to spend my old age with them. Maybe I don't have old age. Maybe I will die after a month. Who knows? Like, I'm not trying to be, to bring drama to here, but we, not, we don't know anything about the future. I don't know if I have that long future or not. I want a guarantee that this individual will stay with me till I'm 80. Who said that I will stay alive till 80? How can I know? Enjoy today. Gemini. Okay, weird way to pick cards, but seven of cups, the devil and the magician. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. I feel that there is somebody around you trying to manifest you and you are confused, not knowing what you want till the point that this magician became the devil. This individual here, and maybe this is you as well, trying to manifest or maybe you are trying to manifest someone in your life from a long time that someone doesn't have to be excuse me a person you know maybe you are trying to manifest love in your life but there is a confusion here I feel you, Gemini, putting a lot of rules for this love. You are manifesting somebody and you are reading from the book, putting notes about, I want this and this and this and this and this. This is not the way to manifest love. Attraction. You attract romantic love 
by enjoying the moment fully. This is the way of attracting love. You are trying to find somebody in your life who fit perfectly to the place that you arranged for them. If they have this and this and they don't have that, this is not the right one. I'm feeling energy. And you started to be obsessed about what they have to. And you are starting to be obsessed ab about the situation till the point that you are really busy with the situation of the person more than the person. The only perfect person on earth is someone seeing that person with the eyes of love. This is the only perfection. Because as they say, love is blind. I will see this individual perfect. They don't need, they don't have any mistake in them. Only if I am in love with them. Because I am seeing them through the eyes of love. If you are looking for that perfect fit for the place that you want, this is start to be obsession. This is not the way. You have to look for that person who will touch your heart. And when you love them, you will see them perfect. Because of love, they will be perfect for you. Because you are in love with them. Perfection is not about checking boxes, my dear. It's not about how tall they are, what they work, how much money they have, what type of car they are driving, if they are kind, if they, are, if they will open the car for a lady, if they are a man, or if the lady will be very nice and sweet and beautiful and tall. This is not what makes the, the person perfect. As I told you, the only perfect person on earth is the person you are in love with. Because your eyes will see them perfect. Because you love them. It's exactly in a way, maybe it's a different type of love. But you can, I, I feel it a little bit like a mother when she will look to her child. She will feel them the prettiest person on earth. And she think that they are the smarter, the more fit person. They are perfect in everything because she loves them. They are her kid. My kid is the perfect kid in my eyes. Now we are not that immature. I know that there is smarter than them, more beautiful than them taller, fitter, but they are the perfect person for me because I am their mother. They, they, they are the best person on earth for me because I'm, I'm looking at them with the eyes of love. This is what you are missing here. This is the point that you are missing, my dear. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully, by relaxing and opening your heart to receive the energy of the person in front of you and feel them, feel their heart, feel their energy, understand them with compassion, with love, not with the eyes of a judge the eyes of a friend, of a nice neighbor, of someone you want to know and you like. At that moment, you will manifest that love in your life. Good luck, Gemini.
Libra. I saw the Six of Cups and the Sun card. So let's hope this is a very positive energy. Well, the Tower, the Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Maybe this Tower will clear the path for the positive energy. There is a player in your life, my dear, or was in your life. Pay attention to the red flags. Exactly. The signs are cautioning you. There is a player energy went out of your life, and I believe that shock was a painful one. With this tower in here. As you know, we are different in the time of energy that we are feeling. Maybe for some of you, you passed this situation from a while. For others, maybe you are still in that tower moment. What this reading is that maybe the tower didn't happen in your life yet. So pay attention to the red flags. This reading is telling you if you are feeling the pain of this tower right now, this tower later on, you will understand, my dear, or you will know that this tower was the best thing happened in your life. Because this tower will clear this energy and the wheel at that time will turn in your favor and you will open the way for the right energy. Sometimes towers in our life will save time. Because if we need a year to learn a lesson with a tower moment, sometimes we learn it in two weeks or a few months. Towers are for saving time. It's a shock. Painful, yes, but you will learn faster with that shock. And I believe this is what's happening in your life. And sometimes we are stubborn enough not to learn without that shock, without that lightning hitting our heads. Our brain sometimes is not functioning. We are completely blind. We need that lightning to hit us so that brain, that brain of us will start to work again. Because sometimes everything is very clear, but we don't want to see. This tower will give you the shock that will open your eyes. And I believe this is what's going on here or what happened in your life. What will happen here is your lucky day, my dear. Maybe if you are still in the middle of this, you will not feel it that way. And I completely understand. But later on, you will. You will understand that what happened here was the reason for all the success and happiness that you will feel in the future in your life. So don't be sad or mad, my dear. Grief, take your time. It's not easy. Don't ignore. Take that pain out of your chest by crying, by isolating yourself, by meditating by the way you feel you need to come out of it. Don't press it down. Feel. We are humans. We will feel the pain. Ignoring the pain will not make it go, my dear. This is very normal in our life, to grieve, to feel the pain, to be sad, to be mad sometimes and angry. Then little by little, you will calm down and you will open your eyes to the doors that will open in the future in your life. I know life is not easy 
but there is always hope and there is always a wheel will turn in your favor just trust good luck my dear good luck honey The Hermit, the Devil, and the Moon. Wow. Three major arcanas out of three. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And it came in reverse, and I will take another card. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. With this moon sitting here, Aquarius, I feel, my dear, you are showing the face of the hermit and you are hiding the devil energy inside you. You are trying to be, and I believe this is a situation you are in, you are trying to be calm and peaceful and keeping to yourself, trying to avoid problems in your life by using the hermit energy, pulling your energy away from all the problems around you. It could be a work situation, a family situation, a love, any, any kind of situation that you have in mind. You are trying to bring peace to the situation by pulling your energy away, trying not to interact with problems while deep inside you, you are holding the devil energy. There is anger here and there is kind of obsession as well. If this is a love situation or a work situation, you are obsessed with this showing the face of the hermit but you are hiding the devil this reading is telling you my dear you are not prioritizing yourself you have like trying to hide that anger inside you and try to show people around you or the person that you are in love with that you are calm and you don't want problems and you're trying to avoid contact with them by letting them do what they want to do and not stop them, maybe for some of you, thinking that this is the wise way to deal with the situation, this reading is telling you you're wrong. The right thing to do is to find what the things that will benefit you to love yourself first and to pick yourself first what will make you happy what will make you successful what will bring confidence to your life what will bring uh, like that energy of being independent this is what you are missing from your life you are trying to forget about yourself and pressing everything you feel inside because you want to avoid problems. This is not the right way. I believe this situation reached the point that you really, really need to come out of this moon energy. This is not the right way to deal with the situation. So clearly decide what you want and it will come to you now decide what you want my dear is this is the type of life that you're looking for like you are not avoiding problems to make that boat sailing or not sinking because 
this boat, if this is the energy of it, it will sink. You are only buying time by burning yourself and wasting your time and wasting and burning your energy. Your self-respect will make you romantically more attractive. When you will stand to these people, if they are at work or a person in your life, you will show them what's your limits, what you will accept and what you will not. And if they are not ready to understand, let them go. Because if you will keep like doing what you're doing, trying to avoid, trying to listen, trying to not show your real feelings about the situation, you are killing yourself, my dear. You are in a depression, I believe, and you are not happy. If this is a job situation, let's say, you don't have to fight with the manager and leave the job, but you have to have rules in this place Let, with kindness. You don't have to fight, but sometimes you have to show them that this is not acceptable. Because if you will open the door for people to take, they will not stop till they will suck everything you have. This card is telling you, decide what you want and the universe will bring it to you. Come out of this secretive energy about how you feel and show what's inside you and stop everyone on that boundary of yours. Don't let, let anyone cross your boundaries. These are healthy boundaries. They are not walls pushing people away. You should have, every one of us should have healthy boundaries. You are missing this point in your life. And I believe what you are in is your lesson to learn. Maybe you needed this pressure to stop people and put these healthy boundaries in your life, my dear. Good luck, Aquarius. I know if this is your reading, this is not an easy energy to be in. But it seems you are a fixed sign. You will not change unless you are under pressure. Aries. Eight of Cups. The Fool, the King of Swords. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. You are freeing yourself, my dear. Because I feel both of you want this new beginning in this situation. But because one of you is holding that King of Swords energy, the other person feel that they don't have any other choice but to leave. Now, I don't know which one is you, but, it, but there is somebody here who tried love, pushing towards love, starting a relationship from a very long time. But they didn't succeed. Because this king of swords, even though inside them they want. But they are not showing that they are keeping that face, the cold face of them holding their swords. Like as a warning for anyone not to come closer. Because if you will get closer to them they will cut your head. 
even though deep inside them, I believe, they want this new beginning with this full energy. Now, this card is very right for both situations. Time to take back control of your life. If you are the King of Swords, taking the control of your life is not letting that sword be the leader of you. Let your sword down. You can deal with life without a weapon. You can protect yourself without pushing everybody away. And if you are the Eight of Cups, free yourself from this situation because this individual, this King of Swords, they will not move unless you put them under pressure. So freeing yourself from this situation will benefit you either way. If this individual, the king of, if you are dealing with this king of swords and they are really, really in love with you and they want you in their life, they will put the sword down and then they will not let you go. And if they didn't do anything to bring you back to their life, that means even if they are in love with you, they are not in love enough to bring you back or let you in. So free yourself either way because this is the right thing to do, my dear. This is the very right thing to do in a situation like this. Because standing in front of this King of Swords door for a hundred years from now will not change anything. Just turn your back and leave. If they want you, they will call you back or they will run away to bring you back. And if they don't really want you or they will not, they are not ready to let you in, they will let you go. And at that time, you will save your life. Good luck, Aries. Good luck, my dear. Regardless which one is you, I wish you the best. It's time to free yourself. Leo. The Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Honeymoon. Enjoy the bless of a holiday time together. I'm feeling almost the same energy like Aries. But this, queen, this uh, nine of pentacles is not holding the swords. Not holding a sword, pushing everybody away with that cold, sharp energy. This nine of pentacles... This Nine of Pentacles is a lady, like it's an energy, it's not about the gender. This is a, someone who is not ready to let anyone in. And I believe this Eight of Cups waited for a very long time for this Nine of Pentacles to open the door for them to put her guards down, but they didn't succeed. So they are leaving and I believe the message in here, it's a kind of guessing the future, I believe. There is a healing energy between these two. And this honeymoon is telling us that there is a change in this occasion. This situation will not stay as it is like we are seeing it. This queen, I mean this nine of pentacles will put the guards down. And there is a very positive change and a healing energy between these two. I believe this queen, this, I keep saying queen, 
this nine of pentacles will not let this eight of cups go. Maybe she is she was not ready to open her heart to anyone, but I don't think this nine of pentacles want this eight of cups to leave. There is a positive change in here. How? I don't know. But I feel something will happen. And most probably based on the energy that I felt, there is a kind of a divine interference in here. I don't think this Nine of Pentacles will follow this Eight of Cups and I don't think this Eight of Cups will turn to come back. There is something divine that will happen in here to heal the situation. So if this is your situation, my dear Leo, just trust the universe will make this happen. Sagittarius. The Eight of Cups. This Eight of Cups showed the phase of it in all fire signs readings. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Somebody is trying to close this cycle, but I feel the cycle didn't end it yet. It gave you the impression as if it does, but I don't feel it end. There is no ending in this story. There is another round in this situation. Maybe not now, but... These two individuals will deal with each others one more time. Maybe in the future, after so many things has to change first. There is an energy of a two people m meet each others at the wrong time. They were not ready for union. They were not. Maybe that old cycle ended and these two people has to recover to start another cycle together. I know these cards will not tell us what I'm saying, but this is what I felt and I'm passing my feelings exactly. Excuse me. If these two people will not ascend to another level, higher level, this engagement will not happen. Like your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. It doesn't have to be an engagement, but this situation will not be the same. One of you is more evolved and mature than the other. When the other person will be the level of this word card, this, there is another round in here. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know how to explain it because I cannot. But what I feel, this story didn't end. It's ended now for the time being. There is an end, but there is another round here. Maybe after years, I don't know. But this story didn't end that like there is no final end in here.
Taurus. Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I will take these two and I'll take one myself. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I believe there is two people here suffering. Someone is putting their head in their job, doing what they have to do, trying to focus only maybe on finance, on their career, and forgetting about anything else because it's an energy that I feel about someone who almost believe that they are not lucky enough to live the love or be in love so they accepted the reality of love is not for them so they are working doing what they have to do surviving with this with life passing days as if as love is not for me, let me focus, let me put my energy somewhere else. At least let me be successful if I will not be loved. And the other energy, they are in this five of pentacles. Feeling left out in the cold and I believe this feeling is not because of a person only. This individual here, they feel that loneliness energy, it's a lifestyle for them. This is their life, a solo. They are always left out. They don't have anyone in their life emotionally. And the more that I feel here, somebody who doesn't have anyone to trust any backup in life. This is the main energy that this individual feel. It's not only about someone left them romantically. These two people are divine partners. So keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. We are all worthy of love, my dear. And the nature of life is having someone to depend on sometimes. That doesn't mean you have to lean on this individual for the rest of your life, not doing anything. But this is the nature of life that the right feeling is to feel that there is somebody will back you up in life this individual will find their backup and this individual will find their love these two people will complete each other's life so just keep an open mind Taurus about your soulmate may be different from your usual type and expectations let's see here you deserve love you are lovable Healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. There is a healing between these two people because these two people believe something and now it's time for let that believe go. Because this is not a belief system. This is a wound need to heal. And it's time to heal it. Beautiful reading, Taurus. Beautiful reading. There is a shift and change in your life. Maybe unexpected. But something is changing. 
inner life, my dear. Virgo. Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. Get to know each other as you reveal your inner selves to each other. Your bond deepens. These two people have the same mentality about life and love both of them are looking for or waiting for that someone who will be like them balanced the two of cups and the six of pentacles these two people are looking for the same thing balance in life equal give and take and i believe they will start a very tangible beginning with this Queen of Pentacles here because each one of them will see and touch that right energy in the other person. This Two of Cups will understand or feel or see or almost be sure that this Six of Pentacles is what they're looking for. And this Six of Pentacles as well. So these two people, I believe, you and this individual, maybe some of you, one of you will be a little bit more emotional than the other. That doesn't mean that the Six of Pentacles, they are not a romantic person, but they are based on previous experiences. Wanting equality first. Wanting to find that right energy who will give the same way that they will take. There is a hurt here from the past. One of you wanting that equal give and take because they stayed for a very long time giving and not taking anything in reality. And the other energy will be waiting for that equal emotional exchange because they were giving emotionally a lot and they didn't get anything you reveal your inner selves to each others and your bond will deepen there is a very very beautiful energy there is a potential for a very successful happy loving relationship in here maybe this is a kind of a attraction still a crush not really a relationship but it's going to be a beautiful one because each one of you found what they are looking for congratulations virgo a beautiful reading my dear a beautiful reading Capricorn. The Nine of Wands, the Sun, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Wands, sorry, I said the Nine of Wands, sorry. Very soon, clearly decide what you want, so it comes to you now. There is a very beautiful energy between you and this individual, Capricorn. I don't know which one is you. I feel more you are this Nine of Cups. Feeling that this individual is your wish fulfillment, the person that you were waiting for, maybe your whole life. But you are happy from inside you maybe this is something didn't happen yet this individual in the picture is happy 
in love, but they are crossing their arms in front of their heart because, and this is the first time I'm focusing on these arms here. I feel this individual and I believe this individual is you, my dear afraid that this energy is coming with the nine with the knight of one's energy quick in quick out only about passion a flame then everything will end fast in fast out this knight of one's here maybe they will start like this but they will end differently there is the sun energy between you and them. For some of you, I believe maybe this energy came here only for passion, for like, I am not feeling that this knight of ones is entering the relationship only because of the physical and then after that they will leave. Maybe they are entering because they feel the passion and they don't have a long-term plan for this. Yeah, maybe this is right, but I am not feeling the energy of somebody who is planning to take what they want physically and run away. I'm not feeling the energy of that from here. That is the sun energy between you and them, my dear. And I believe there is something magical will happen. So clearly decide what you want because your wish will come true, my dear. Open your heart to life, to love, and see where this situation will take you. This Knight of Wands is not here only to play. They are entering, I, I believe you are right in this, they are entering without a long-term plan. But they are not here only to play and run away. They are following their passion without thinking about what will happen tomorrow. I believe with this card here, there is so many things will change tomorrow with this sun to the better. Happiness is coming to your life. So get ready, my dear. Congratulations. Capricorn, you deserve this. Just Try to be a little bit open. Don't put too much rules from the beginning. Just give this individual a chance and get to know them. Then decide, do you want to go further or not? Because as I always say, there is no guarantees in life. Sometimes we enter a situation only for fun and we found out, we found ourselves madly in love with, with the person in front of us. And sometimes we enter the situation very serious. And after a short period of time, we realize that this is not what we want. So don't think about tomorrow. Enjoy today, my dear. Good luck, Virgo. Uh, Capricorn, sorry. Good luck, my dear. And now for the last card, my friends, the arcade, this is the maybe for you reading. I will do the reading exactly the way I used to do it on Tuesday. It's a freestyle reading. I will wait for that jumping card to tell us about the story for today. Three cards. Then after that, we're going to build the reading. Let's see. I have three cards. I feel this is the energy of two people. There is love in here. Somebody has an anxiety about this relationship, but the other person is very calm and very balanced. I feel this temperance here is waiting for the other energy to understand what is this. Because this nine of swords is feeling the energy of love but they are afraid of it. Maybe it's too intense. Maybe it came. The timing is wrong for them. I don't know. But there is something keeping this individual very tensed. 
very depressed, not knowing what they should do. But there is a mutual love here. The other energy, as I told you, they are very balanced. They are very calm. They already put their foot in the water, wanting to try love. Three cards for you, three cards for the energy that you're dealing with, my dear. And one outcome, pick your side, which one is you? Or maybe this is something that didn't happen yet. The Ten of Wands. The Nine of Cups, the Chariot. And this is the energy that you're dealing with. Seven of Cups, the Star, Strength. I will put each one on the side of them and you pick your side. Each person, I will put them on top of the cards that I feel that they are for them. And this is the outcome for this situation. I will leave the romance angel till the end. Seven of cups, the star, strength. The other energy, they have the ten of ones, the nine of cups, and the chariot. There is something inside this individual confusing them, not knowing. I feel this individual is here and this is for this. This individual is confused between accepting the gift of God or holding back from it. They are between healing trying to heal themselves and accept this wish in their life or hold back because they feel that there is a big confusion in their life. I feel this individual feels that they are not ready to enter love because of, because of external circumstances. Something in this individual life is not right yet and they feel that they found what they want at the wrong time. This energy, they are holding a lot of burdens, I know, but they are strong enough to handle that and they know that they found their wish fulfillment. There is a calm energy coming from here. While this energy is shifting because of that confusion. This individual believe that you should Make your life perfect and wait for love. While reality is, when love will enter your life, it will be perfect. Because there is no perfect life. We always will have problems. We will go out of a situation, another situation will enter our life. If we will wait for that perfect moment to enter a love relationship, we will never be in love with it. Like, I, I don't want to say in love because we cannot stop love. When love will enter your life, you cannot stop it. But I mean, we will not give ourselves the chance to be in a relationship unless our life is perfect. If you are waiting for that, my dear, you will never be in a relationship with anyone. People will enter our life to help us the way we will help them in life. And this is the idea about a partner. Even let ta let's take it about work. Why you bring a partner for your job or your project? Because you know or you feel that you cannot handle it alone. Because of time, financially, you need help. Because of that, you look for a partner. If you can do it alone, you will not look for a partner, right? And this is life. We will have a partner because we cannot handle it alone. 
This is the nature of life. Yin yang. It's not only one energy. Now, life is not impossible without a partner. But the honest answer here, life will not be a real life without a partner. A real partner. Not anyone to fit the place next to me. My person. My divine partner. The one for me. The right one, not anyone. If you are this Nine of Swords, thinking that your life, your situation is not ready to be in love, love will not take a permission from you to enter, my dear. And sometimes a partner will come to help you to make your life better. This energy here, they do have burdens as well in life. And I feel from both sides in this story, these are external circumstances. I am not feeling that these people are in anxiety or they have high boundaries or they don't want to be in a relationship or they are afraid or they are not mature enough at all. There is problems in these individuals life. This individual believe that they need to fix their life before entering love. This individual is ready to be in love with these burdens because this is the this is a very intense energy here and there is a calm energy here. Because this individual is calm and balanced, they believe that they can handle responsibilities and love. Because these are two different things. You don't have to get rid of one to make space for the other. This individual believes that they are balanced enough, strong enough to be in a relationship, even if they have burdens. And they believe that the partner, the, the divine partner, the counterpart partner of them, that will enter their life they are here for help they will help them and this individual will help their partner as well like a partner to help they believe that the partner in your life is to help you this is the nature of life unlike this individual like this individual believe if my life is a messy life, having a partner will help me. This partner, if they are the right person, they will help me to fix my life, to make it better. Fix it completely. There is no chance for that. While this individual has a different belief system, they want to fix life before love. But love is here. And you have to deal with it. This is the personality of these two people. Let's see what's holding back. For the time being, I believe this holding back is from this individual here. These two people, for the time being, they will hold back because this individual, they will feel they are not ready and this person, they cannot be in a relationship without a partner. So they will hold back as well because they will feel that this individual is not ready. Let's take an advice from the Romance Angel for you if you are the Temperance. What's your advice? Let's see. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship right you are trying to match the energy of this individual and you are deceiving you are wearing a mask in here because you are not holding their energy 
you have to show your real energy. You don't have to hold back from them because they are holding back from you. This is the false mask in here. Maybe if you will find the right way to approach them, they will calm down from this anxiety and they will understand that you are here to help. It's not about them not being ready because you don't want them to be ready because when you love someone, you just love them. It's not about who is ready or who is not. If you are healed and balanced, you are ready. And if you will open your heart, you will be ready. Regardless what's the situation around you. If you are the Nine of Swords, let's see what's your advice in here. Call in your soulmate. Your prayer, affirmation, and visualization help bring you together. You are called the soulmate, and the soulmate is here to help you. Let them in, my dear. You are, you were calling your soulmate. You are trying to manifest the right energy in your life. And the right energy came. Why you are pushing them away? You think that they came at the wrong time? There is no right time and wrong time in love. It's always the right time for love. Always. Open your heart. You prayed for this. This is your wish. And the wish is coming true. But you are not accepting it. So accept it. This is your advice, my dear. Well, this is what I have for you, my friends. Thank you so much again for everything, for all your love, your support. As I told you, I will try to post the Venus signs, the love reading for Venus signs, maybe at the next weekend. I will do my best to finish them. So wish me luck. Have a good day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.